Hello crafty friends, thank you so much for joining me again. Welcome back to my channel and happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yes, I've got my nails made on purpose for that. Now, uh, today we're gonna play with the um, Spellbinder kit uh, for uh, March 2024. He arrived, yes, so I can play today. And um, hopefully I'll, me I'll manage to do a video straight away. So today I'm gonna use the small die of the moon with this adorable little how, so cute. And I'm gonna use the Glimmer Hot Fold of the Month. It's called Sketch It Lines. And then I'm gonna use some of the elements of the Large Die of the Month. I'm gonna use some more later for another video. It's called Classic Tales. I will use probably the stencil of the month. I'm not sure I'm gonna use this one today. Maybe I'll put it on the side. And then I'm definitely gonna use the embossing folder of the month called uh, the, I don't remember. <laughs> I, I can't read it, unbelievable. And then the classic backdrop as well, that is uh, the 3D embossing folder of the month. So, I'm gonna use some uh, cardstock, uh, sorry, a quarter color cardstock today for my panels. And here I create already um, my embossed um, panels with both folders. They're so nice, the texture is very good. And then uh, I foil uh, this panel two times, once. <laughs> um, one side and then um, the other side to create like a, some funk, funky design. Now let's start to build our little owl. I just um, die cut already uh, on the, the, the bits I need and I put them on the side. And now I'm just gonna put everything together. Uh, let me go a bit closer. This die set is got ton tons of little pieces to create um, our howl and give you so much detail at the end that basically the card doesn't need anything else so i keep all those cards very very simple uh, because i i made five in the end and um, I, I needed to keep the video kind of shorter so now i show you here the pieces i need just for the eyes is already one, two, three pieces, and um, actually it's uh, two pieces, but then one I I die cut out of black and the other two out of white. Now the the one I, I put it on the side here, I'm gonna color them. There is a little um, half moon detail that give it the color of the eyes. So I'm just gonna color this one in red uh, just because i wanted to match a bit the the rest of my card so you probably have guessed i don't know or will probably will guess this very soon i am a fan of harry potter <laughs> it's, uh, harry potter was the first book i read in english it basically teach me english so i kind of attached to it so this little howl it's gonna be Edwin. <laughs> so I'm gonna now just uh, attach, um, try to lay in all the little detail. There is a little white dots that I'm just gonna lay in on the empty space. And, uh, and now I'm gonna take the irid. I don't know what to say. Is it irid? Anyway, the color part of my eyes. I'm just gonna pick it out with my tweezer and I just gonna attach to the to the eye. I'm gonna do the same things for the other one. Once I got my eyes done, I'm just gonna uh, sort my wings and uh, and there is all the bits in it that um, Basically, you can color to have a, a variation on the. For example, there is these two tiny bits that 
they are basically the cheek of the of the house so i'm just gonna go with um, a mini mini brush that has got already some pink in it i think is um one lipstick i'm not sure but i just give it a tiny tiny little bit of color to my cheeks <laughs> and i'm just gonna attach it to the to the hair you don't it's not very clear here but there is a variation of color i promise now the the beak i had die cut directly in orange because it's so tiny i really didn't fancy to color <laughs> With tiny brushes and uh, now for the wings because I wanted my howl to be uh, white in the end I just give uh, like a little shadow with uh, some um, gray that I had already on my on my brush I don't know if it's black suit or uh, fog momentum I'm not sure but uh, it's uh, very very light gray so i didn't add anything anything else and now i'm just gonna glue them in my to my hair the the die cut come with the um, embossed uh, details so you you can easily guess where to put everything for example this part go on the side so i'm just gonna glue it on the side of my little white owl and you probably can't really see the gray but you c in real life is a bit more evident now for those holes there i'm gonna do some um i'm gonna back it up with some color cast-up. so i decided to go for yellow i could have you could have done gray or maybe a little bit white but i wanted to give a tiny touch of color so I just back it up with a piece of uh, yellow uh, scrap card stuff that I had. There you go, very simple. And that's it. Now I'm just gonna glue my wings. Again, it's got embossed detail, so it's kind of difficult to mess it up. <laughs> Look how cute are those eyes. On the design, it's not super clear if you have to put it on top or you have your eyebrows. <laughs> so I just did it. It gives you a very, very sweet look. But in another card, I actually put uh, the eyebrows on top of the, of the eyes that hide um, the white bits. And, but it gives a very grumpy look in that. It's actually more natural for a howl, I think. Now I'm just gonna carry on uh, glue everything else. Now for the wig, uh, wig sorry, wing on the front, I'm just gonna pop it up a bit with um, some foam tape, foam square, because uh, I want to tuck something under. <laughs> there is a little letter that is um, part of the die set. That's so cute. And uh, I don't want to put under the beak because it it, it will um, cover up too much of my hair. So I just gonna tuck it in under his uh, um, hair wings. Now look at those cute little <laughs> feet. Just gonna put two dots of glue and then uh, just attach my hair on top. And I'm gonna leave it to dry for a few minutes. Actually, instead of the block, I think I've got something better. I can use my reverse tweezers to, and now, you know, to hold it in place. Now I'm just gonna build my scarf. Of course, it's gonna be the color. I'm gonna be red and yellow gold because it's a Gryffindor after all. <laughs> So it is quite easy to guess where everything goes again. So I'm just gonna put a few dots of glue 
and they start to attach my little pieces. This one can be customized the way you want. It can be um, you can make a card for a for a sport, so any football support if you match the color of the team. For example, this can be for my brother because uh, it's got the same color of uh, Roma, and is a Roma supporter. So you can really customize the way you want. So I I wasn't sure where to attach. The, the end of the scarf. I decide there because on the other side it's going to be the, the letter. And now I'm just going to pop it up with uh, tiny uh, phone squares from this one from Spellbinders. I'm just going to put uh, a couple here and there. How cute is this little hair? It's so adorable. I really, really love this die set there. And I had so much fun making these cards today. There we go. I got my <laughs> Rome <laughs> or Gryffindor support. Now, in this set come a pair of glasses as well, that they are <laughs> so adorable that, of course, I have to, to put, I have to give it to my little heart. I die cut them in uh, pink. I actually die cut a few things in pink that I'm gonna use for the um, rest of my cards. Just a little tiny dots of glo uh, uh, glue, and that's it, the howl is done. Don't you think it's super cute? <laughs> I love it. Okay, now. Let's move on. This is the little um, letter I was talking about, and uh, I'm just gonna do some um, ink blending in it. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of uh, uh, photo vintage, vintage photo, sorry, <laughs> that I've got really on my brush. So, just gonna very lightly go around the edges just to. Give it the kind of uh, old, old letter look. I think is uh, match perfectly with the theme of the card. Just a bit of glue and and attach the two bits together. And now I'm just gonna add again. A little, uh, the little detail of a uh, seal, wax seal. So you can, as part of the kit, this uh, tiny <laughs> circle that is so adorable. And uh, you see, if it was on top, if it was under the beak, it would take too much of the of the house. So I'm just gonna glue it there under the wing. So I'm just gonna put a bit of. Uh, glue on one of the corners and I just uh, let it there to dry. And now I'm gonna build the couple of the, the books that is on the part of the set. I die cut in different colors so, um, so there is um Three piece, three pieces book basically the the base of the book a cover that you you can lay in with um, all the details if you want I've been a bit lazy because I'm gonna stack them so I'm not sure how much is gonna be seen but uh, I'm just gonna I die cut in different colors different variation of colors. So the co the top one is gonna be in a light lighter. The cover is gonna be lighter than the actual um, book. There you go. And then I attach in the center a different color. Um, attach the the pink on the part of the book and the. 
so we will just repeat there and copy this the light pink and then I will leave in the darker pink it's the same color but this but I lay in just to you know, to, to go be more flashes this nicer so I'm not sure what is gonna be seen but uh, definitely it's gonna be seen the the pages so I'm just gonna touch this other bits that give it so much detail it looks almost real they're super cute <laughs> once I start making them I couldn't stop you could see in a bit in a, in a moment I made quite a few of them <laughs> with all different colors um, but look at how cute they are <laughs> I really like, I, I really love this uh, set now I used the um, odd foil uh, glimmer foil of the month to um, foil the the sentiment magical uh, wishes for you in uh, I tried different things I, I use blush I use uh, matte gold and uh, I did the reverse one and one of them I think is in black uh, foil as well and I'm just gonna all double up and get it ready for the next uh, for the to put on my five cards here you can see all the owls that i created three of them of course i uh, have to have their the other colors you know the other house colors from uh, harry potter and then there is another white one that i thought was so cute with the pink scarf now i'm just gonna try to match them with the um, back different backgrounds uh, the books and all the elements that i die cut I think I'm not gonna give the letter to the <laughs> to that one. So I'm just gonna put one book only under my Edwin, and then uh, a stack of three for the very grumpy one because you have to study a lot, <laughs> and the two pink and purple for my pink my white owl. And some of those uh, serious book under the slithery one. And now for the for the last owl, I decide to give him a different background. They're just gonna be outside in a tree. So I just I die cut a branch and leaves from the large die of the month, uh, classic tales, and. Um, I'm just gonna try to position them now to see how it's gonna look and I think it's gonna look it's gonna be perfect <laughs> now as I said before I cut different elements in pink and everyone is gonna have uh, something in pink so for, the, for example this one has got a different type of spectacles that it doesn't come on this kit it come from another another kit that I will show you in a minute but yeah once I decide how things are gonna go I start to build the uh, build them together now I just glue the feet of the some of them <laughs> this one didn't glue properly so I'm just gonna try again when it's a gold cardstock or metal cardstock it's very hard to to stick so it need a bit more time so I'm just gonna put my tweezer there and to keep it in place meanwhile I'm just gonna create a color background for this little howl so I'm gonna use now the stencil of the month That consists in five different bits that 
they can actually be layered. So I'm using the one that, that can be um, the match, let's say, the, the embossing folder. And using the green already on my brush, I'm not sure which green is that, it's probably a long mower. I'm just gonna very quickly and very lightly, I don't want to go too heavy, uh, give some colors to my. I should have, <laughs> I should have done the one under, but never mind. Um, I'm just gonna give uh, some color to my embossed panel. So I did it in a few times, in few <laughs> in blocks basically. And last bit that <laughs> I found hard to match. I think I made a little mistake as well, so they're not exactly precise down there, but it doesn't matter. It still give a nice uh, uh, background. And uh, for the second layer, I just, I mean, for the, yeah, second layer, I just use uh, some light grey. I'm using Memento um, London Fog ink that in need, definitely need to be re because it's like, it's already light, but it's way too much light now. Yeah, the top one needs a tiny bit more. And that's it. So super light and super quick way to color the background. For this second half, I'm just gonna, because it's outside, I'm just gonna have a bit of blue uh, around the corners and um, fade it to the center, into the white. So very, very light, uh, not, not putting much pressure. And I didn't put any ink on my brushes because yeah, I never cleaned them. <laughs> so they still all do the colors from the last time I used them. And that's it. Very, very quick. Now I, I use a piece of um, pressing seal to help me uh, hold all my leaves. They're not glue at this point. And now just uh, checking the position of my branch. Yeah, I got that one should be fine. I should have attached my paper as well. <laughs> but never mind, I didn't think. So now I'm just going to add some glue at the back of my um, leaves and my branch. I'm using standard liquid glue with my squeeze bottle. It always works for me. Never let me down. And then it's very cheap glue. <laughs> and now I just place in. Oops. There you go. And I'm going to leave it attached there with the, with the pressing seal until it dry. Now that it's all dry, I'm just gonna uh, cut the excess of those little leaf with some scissors. My long scissors. <laughs> there you go, that's it. And I think there is a little bit of the branch I'm going to add, so I'm going to cut off that one as well. And my branch is ready. I already put some uh, um, double side tape at the back of my little hole, so I'm just going to attach it to my branch. time to attach my sentiment so i'm just uh, look which one will look better and uh, where where to put it so just gonna play around a little bit with my 
my die cut position I don't want to cover the books so I decide to go for the bottom part on this particular hole there you go um, I'm grabbing my um, foam strip tape and uh, they're a bit long so I just uh, cut off uh, what I don't need and uh, I pick up two strips for sentiment that is uh, the perfect size and I start to glue everything down sorry about my head <laughs> on the way there you go and I do the, the same for the rest of my house yeah, I think this one as well look better on the bottom part so I'm just gonna touch it there I don't know if you can hear my little boy coughing <laughs> unfortunately it's, they're both sick again my boys as usual <laughs> that means I will get it soon <laughs> anyway I'm gonna glue together I mean I'm gonna uh, attach my second hull, the little uh, slithering one and I give I gave him a little uh, um, pink badge <laughs> I think it's so cute while the to the the owl on the tree I give a little flower on the head again and now I'm just preparing all my sentiment ready to go make it easy for later now for this pink little hull I want to give it again some color background so um, using my uh, brush with some pink on it I'm just gonna all around, go around and uh, again very lightly on the corners just to give a bit of color and this is so nice when the the, the embossing folder pick up color nicely like that you can see the little dots are a bit darker and again this one is very easy I mean I kept my my card so simple because uh, I want it to be quick and at the same time is uh, give you a really nice result because there's so much detail on the little hull that really really no need for much more I'm just gonna uh, remove the release paper from my I <laughs> change the light again because the light keep on changing the sun come and go and now I'm just gonna touch the cute little hair on my third card now for the fourth card I I decided to do something a bit different I decided to use my um, polish polish glitter 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 I don't remember what to call it I'm just gonna list it below and um, this uh, just give um a very subtle um silver silver in color it's pearly color on the top of uh, of my embossing uh, panel just in the raised um part so all those lovely little uh, pearls <laughs> they, they're gonna look like pearl you can't see much unfortunately from the video and I don't think I did a great job on the picture either but uh, it's there in real life it looks really really nice and um, it gives the card a bit more elegance I think so I don't know if you can see it here but I, I seriously doubt it unfortunately sorry about that Now time to attach my hull. Now this one is uh, a bit higher than the others because it's, it's on top of three stack book. So I'm gonna have to um, put my sentiment on the books unfortunately. Um, you can see I, I didn't stack them straight. I thought it was more fun give them a bit of um, unbalance. <laughs> now I had um, 
at um, foam square at, at the end of uh, this one, but I realized that this is a bit too to take the, the little phone square so I need <laughs> I should have put something a bit slimmer like this one so I'm just gonna add this um, more phone square a slimmer one on the side just to balance the old things to make it a bit more flush and, uh, and that's it and this one as well is done and for the last one, didn't do anything special again. Just um, well, put some foam square at the back uh, and uh, attach to my panel. Uh, I was going to attach and then I realized, oh, wait, I need to see where the sentiment goes first. <laughs> so I took my sentiment and the position it again at the bottom. And that's it. Super simple. This one can be a card uh, series. I might create a little box to hold them all together, like a, a gift box. So they're all uh, birthday cards. So they can they can be donated as a gift. <laughs> so that's it. That's all my cards for uh, today. Just um, I don't know what I'm talking about. I just need to attach to my card. I'm just gonna show you this um, glasses. This come from this set, these spectacles, and uh, it's called um, Smart Glasses. <laughs> it's super adorable, and I I cut a lot of glasses and never really used them, so I used it today. And this little uh, diamond come from essential uh, gems from Spellbinders. That's it. It's time to um, get some uh, colored cardstock because I wanted to. I create some um, card base with colored cardstock because I wanted to match my house colors, <laughs> you know, the, for my house uh, scarves. So I'm just gonna put a bit of uh, uh, a piece of white cardstock, same size at the front of my panel inside i was tempted to do something inside as well use a stencil or whatever but i really didn't want to make the video longer than it already is so and i'm just matching my card so this one is gonna be with the red just a bit of glue at the back and i'm just gonna center it On my card, there we go. I think it matched nicely. Yeah, I definitely need to do a little gift box for those cards. And that's it. Card is done. <laughs> I now match up all my my cards with the with the color cardstock. I left one in white to do, and I'm just uh, gluing the last one. Last panel. This this embossing folder give a nice result as a on the deboss part as well. Super cute. And that's it. And this one as well is done. Hey, here are all my five cards. <laughs> I hope you like them. I think they're super adorable. This uh, you can get so many different. You can match it with different colors get different results but thank you so much for uh, sticking with me till the end uh, i really appreciate it and uh, i hope you enjoyed the card and the video if you do please don't forget to subscribe if you didn't do that already and give us a thumbs up a thumbs up please um, enjoy the rest of uh, st patrick day and i'll see you next time bye